Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers called Other Side. And it starts out with a really cool lick where you start second fret on the D string. And we're going to play that three times. And then we're going to play uh, second fret on the G. And then play that twice. And then open B. And then second fret on the G. And then open G. And then second fret on the D. And we're going to do that three times. And then do open D three times. So you got two on the D, two on the D, two on the D, two on the G, two on the G, open B, two on the G, open G, two on the D, two on the D, two on the D, open D, open D, open D. And the notes you're actually playing is going E, 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 A, A, B, A, G, E, 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 D, D, D. And then most of the rest of the song you could actually just strum along with some chords. And we're going to start on an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And we're going to talk about an easy way to do it in a minute. But if you know the full bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A on the third fret, and the pinky is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But if you're just starting out and bars are kind of difficult, you could actually use a substitute for this called F major seven. And the way you play F major seven, first finger is going to go B on the first fret, same place he is for A minor. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D on the third fret. And if you strum just D, G, B, and E. That'll get you your clearest sound out of that, and that's called F major 7, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major 7, we're going to be going to a C major chord, and when we play C major, first finger is going to actually stay on the B first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And then we, we strum all the strings with that, that's called C major, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go A on the second fret, Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major and sounds really, really happy. And that's our basically our chorus progression is those four chords. So we kind of start out with A minor, F major, C major, G major, A minor, F major. major. But a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite 4-4 four -four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the, the A minor and just did that a lot, you have down, down, up. to get your right hand used to it. But then if we try that through our chorus, we got A minor with down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down. starts on the A minor, but then we go to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go A on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And, and a lot of our verse, we're going to just kind of be alternating between the A minor and then E minor, A minor, E minor, A minor. E minor, but then we go to the G major, and then an A minor. So we tried that with our strum pattern. We have A minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up. Minor, and then we'd be back 
back through through another verse. We have A minor down up. between the G down up, up down the minor down down up, up down G down down up, up down G down down up, up down the minor down down up, up down the minor down down up, up down up, and then we'd be on our chorus again. So we got our A minor down up. Bridge, we got E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, E minor down. for kind of our outro we got the A minor. song but this would be kind of challenging would be using a 16th note strum pattern instead of an eighth note strum pattern right right now if you're tapping your foot with the B then, then the down down up up down up is kind of dividing the beat into two parts right along with your foot one two one two that's called an eighth note 
Well, we divided that foot tap into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's called a sixteenth note. And one of my favorite sixteenth notes of patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we took the A minor. What, what I mean by that is you do a down for four. One, two, three, 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 four. Down. So that's what you're doing on the first beat. On the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two and a down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up. down right along with, with, with the four so one two three four down so you take all those parts and put them together and then you got long down 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 you want to try and apply but you have to go really really fast to get that to match up to tempo with the recording but just to try that with, with our verse one time you got or with our chorus you got a minor down down up up down 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 up 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 down 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 up down down up down 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 of how you can play other side by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So good luck!